And then we also have a, uh, what you call it, response video, Ken? Um, one of the stars of the now defunct Star Wars The Acolyte has spoken out about her show being canceled, and let's just say it's, it's kind of set the internet ablaze. It's, it's exactly what you think it would be. I didn't watch it, I just seen like critiques of it, and I'm like, yeah, it sounds like her. She's a dumb bitch who grew up in Hollywood that's been given everything she's ever wanted. Like, yeah, it, it kind of makes sense. Um, yeah. All right, so let's let's start off here. Let's take a little look, see, and let's take a look at the Amanda Law. Dumb name, by the way. Stenberg. Yeah. I wonder what kind I of people. Hate, I hate her parents. I hate her parents so much. She does too. That's why she's the way she is. All right, so here is her reaction to the acolyte being canceled. Um. However, uh, I feel okay. Okay. You just got paid millions of dollars to do a, some stupid fucking Disney Plus show, and you can't buy a phone like tripod. Not only that, this is supposed to be some announcement about her thing. That she's like, <laughs> I, I get she's trying to be like uh, casual, and I just decided to do this for my fans. But you're in a shitty T-shirt and you're playing with your fucking hair. Like, you couldn't at least, like, you know, put on some decent clothes and, like, not fiddle with your hair the entire time as you're telling people why you were can or blaming everybody else for your cancellation. Spoiler alert. I will give it. Nice ceiling fan. It's very basic. So you know nothing about ceiling. It's very modern. Minimalistic. I it's very think... Ikea. Shut up. I no, she probably getting... paid, like, four grand for that ceiling fan. <laughs> Stupid she, shit. She, what if she paid for the house or whatever? Like, I'm sure, like, that came with it. Like, she knows nothing of ceiling fans, just like you. I know I plenty of ceiling, ceiling fans. I have lived with a ceiling, ceiling fan, fan my entire life, Ken. Yeah, what do you know about it? How many watts is it? How many spins per cycle? It's the same thing. You didn't even know that. Enough. See? Here don't get me in. I don't get into ceiling fans. It's a whole rabbit hole I want to get in right now. <laughs> I hate doing this. I hate doing this, but I'm going to do it. Yeah, you hate all the attention um, on I you. Hate you hate it. it. We hate you doing it more. I bet. Um, and I'm so happy about that. Um, but... There are many folks out there that I want to acknowledge, and I want to show appreciation. She's playing with her hair like she's a child. Is she? I don't, what is? This? I don't even know what's happening. Is she just straightening it back? Is she brushing it? Like I, it I don't know old? what she's trying to do. I I think she's just being nervous, is all. And love and support for. So that's why I'm hopping on here to talk about this, um, which is that our show, our Star Wars show, has been canceled. Oh and... no! <laughs> Whatever will we do? Know. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna be transparent and say that it's not a huge shock for me. Because you saw it? Was it because you saw yeah. it? Did you see you the show? I'm like, this sucks. This is bad. I my, my, when, my, uh, when, my... No one's gonna give a fuck about me. I'm an asshole. Oh, don't worry. I'll make a song about it. That'll get everybody back on board. <laughs> this will get everybody on board. <laughs> of course, I live in the bubble of my own reality, but... For... Alright, base, say, hey, you know, a little, uh, little acknowledgement of your fucking privilege and you know the fact that you uh suck she's so relatable kid and this is making it so much better hey i'll give her that that she at least admits that she's in a bubble a lot of these people think they're the everyman and that we gotta go against the the fucking millionaires you're the millionaires idiots sorry For those who aren't aware there has been uh a rampage of vitriol that we have faced since the show was even announced when all right so now okay she just lost it again <laughs> Rampage of Vitriol coming this summer only on FX. I wonder if you had that written down, that phrase, a rampage of vitriol. Probably practice that in the mirror a couple times. I feel like she just uses that phrase like three or four times a week. I'm okay. sorry, mother, but I'm going on a rampage of vitriol. She's got it. It's, it's her only it's in her chamber. It's one of her. <laughs> it's all you guys already. Why do you like this? Rampage of ritual. It's like when your friend in high school learns the word myriad and he just won't stop using it. Like, dude, I get it. You have a lot of. Things. <laughs> or you in a uh, titular when you found out what titular meant. And I know what titular has meant for 47 years. And you've never stopped using it. At least I'm only 34, Ken. 34 years of. No, nope, I've known it for longer than I've been alive. How does that work? I don't want to go into it. It's good because I'll go on a rampage of ritual. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go on a rampage of ritual. <laughs> okay. uh, that's when we started experiencing a rampage. Of um, vitriol, I would say hyper conservative uh, bigotry and uh, vitriol prejudice. She said vitriol again. She's guys. She said vitriol she said again. The magic word. She said we can. We all go home. We did it, guys. We did it. She said it again. She said the thing. 
hatred and hatefulness. She literally looks like she's death. reading it off the ceiling. Um, <laughs> and you know, this really affected me when I. She looked like a fish. She's looking at a fish face. What do you want, pal? Yeah. It's almost like they have an archetype of the type of people they're looking for to do their movies. Fish face people? Yep. Hired Doug Jones. He's really Little good. Mermaid was a literal f playing a fish person. Just saying. <laughs> That's why they hired the fucking stupid looking fish. Everybody out. We're hiring the fish. <laughs> wow. She really does look like a fish. <laughs> First got the job um because it's just not something even though i anticipated it happening it's not something you can fully understand what, what it feels like until it's happening to you no i'm just better um, than everyone you just don't know what it's like to be a uh, i feel like no i kind of moved through those feelings in various ways including being vocal about yeah we know yeti myself um for me it just became a situation where there was no option but for me to uh honor my sense of ethics and my belief system and my values the fuck are you talking about what about what how about are you honoring your sense of ethics and belief system by getting fired essentially like what, what did she like learn the code of the jedi is that what she's talking about she followed them during you know what, up, Becky? what code of ethics i she's just this is word vomit this is yeah, just really verbal is vomit did do you think she's like on a kalana pin or something and she's just like i'm just gonna i'm sure she's on something I'm just gonna they probably they, yeah. bigots, bigots were like they're so no. full of rampage and vitriol. I can't, I can't raise my voice higher than this. Just it's just my scalp. Vitriol, bigotry. Oh, it feels good when I pull in my hair. It's like oh, it's like a hot button on the scalp. Right, now I want to. Now I want to stop. <laughs> something, something like a weird ASMR video. Or something. <laughs> she's just like tripping mad balls like ecstasy, <laughs> just pulling on her hair. Oh guys, how can they? Pull, uh, I was a real Jedi. You don't guys want. <sighs> You little people don't understand about being a Jedi. <laughs> you should just like understand the Force, man. Yeah, you guys don't know what it's like to play two people that are the same people. Rick you all. <laughs> but are also different people while being the same. I'm better, better than you. While being in this very one knows kung fu, position. one does not. Uh, it was kind of and then all of a sudden does I... know. And then does know at the end of the seconds. <laughs> She's remembered kung fu out of nowhere. Yeah, she went full Neo. Oh wait, I know kung fu. Had this Show very me. unique experience of uh, experiencing the world at large, which is, of course, hyper divisive right now. What the fuck, the fuck are you saying? talking about? I had an experience of experiencing what, the world, Come on. like every other person on the planet. Man, this experience. Like, she sounds like Woody Harrelson if he was a 23 year old black girl. <laughs> she just discovered weed. <laughs> Bitch, are you high? Because I am. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Yeah, usually you know what that you can translate. I don't know what it's, the fuck's it's going on. It's gibberish, Ken. It's just gibberish. <laughs> I, I almost, she's at that age where I, I still don't, it's not 100% her fault. Like, she's been in Hollywood since she was nine. And, but she's in that age too, where she's almost at the point where it's like, all right, well, I don't really necessarily don't feel bad. But I was like, you're not getting a pass anymore. You are insufferable as a person. The last person I've seen that seemed this fucking whacked out called himself Lady Babylon, even though he mainly dealt in translating Greek. I have no idea who you're talking about. You don't want to know. This guy's insane. It's it's a whole thing. He thinks Jesus person? was a drug dealer. Yeah, it was. It. He says, oh, is this, is this a mm, Ministry of Dude thing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I yeah, I don't. You, that shit mm -hmm. happens. I, mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch TV now. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He talks like I, this the whole time. She sounds almost like that. So drugged out. Yes, yeah, like like pilled out or something. Like her eyes are milky, like a glass left for Santa Claus. <laughs> um, she can't keep focus on anything. She's looking all over the place. <laughs> like her eyes are just are crisscrossed. <laughs> the lens she should make another diss track. What Absolutely. Was Go for one. What was that motion? That seemed about right. Unique opportunity of being in Star Wars, and it brought up a lot. She... Unique through the lens of this very. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Ken, you need Jesus. I, I'm not the drugged out asshole talking about being a <laughs> rage rich year old Jedi. Can you need Jesus? I'm almost there. Wait, I'm almost there. Keep going. Star Wars. <laughs> and it brought up a lot for me, a lot of um, social political. Why would she do that? Why would I, I you ever know. do this motion? Oh, why'd I do it? Damn <laughs> it. <laughs> why would you ever do that motion on camera? <laughs> yeah, let's get um Zen Rhino in here. Come on, do your thing. You did it to me, you bastard. Nah, I think he's taking the off. Local dynamics, a lot about my own value system, how I respond to that kind of hatred, how I move through the world at large. 
What? With, with your legs? About? Yeah. <laughs> walking? <laughs> Maybe driving sometimes? Yeah, a car? You know how By I sitting on your world? ass and letting a big metal vehicle take you somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> A taxi. And this bitch rides Uber. She she's too bougie for taxis now. Yeah. Yeah. It just became inarguable for me at a certain point that in order to uh continue to be myself, I would have to honor my value system by being vocal even within the context of working for Disney. I know she's supposed to be mom binary and shit, but she sure sounds like a dumb bitch. She really does. She really <laughs> embrace that part of her personality <laughs> hey, and gender, whatever uh, the hell you talk. I kinda of feel like we know what gender you are. Just yeah. listen to you talk for five minutes. Weird. A woman couldn't shut up about something. Oh, I'm I'm fucking shocked. It's like, wow, you may know it, not know what your gender is, but your personality does. <laughs> oh, weird. Uh, a person that couldn't keep their mouth shut when they, you know they're paid a ton of money not to do something. <laughs> it's almost like it's irrational. Me <laughs> and and working um within the large oh my god within the large yeah we understood as a cat see we yeah, all heard yeah. cats before. I can't. Got it. I didn't think it was one of your personalities in the background. Is she like I didn't autistic? Think it was your twin sister. Is she autistic or something? No, she's just probably some pilled out idiot that's been abused by Hollywood since she was nine years old. And again, she's at that age where she can't, she she's insufferable, but she got to get to pass because like this is her parents' fault. At this point, she's in that age. She's almost at Drew Barrymore levels of cringe, where it's like, all right, well, you know, I know Hollywood messed you up, but yeah, yeah, I, I can't keep you know giving you a pass on this. I feel like after twenty five, your parents can no longer take responsibility for your actions. Yes, I agree. Isn't she? I thought she was younger than that. I thought she was like 22 or something. How I have no this? idea. I, I just want her out of existence. Talk to like a 14 year old. Yeah. Um, I was in the Star Wars show. On that topic, it was I not good, so we got canceled. It's been I played an with incredible swords. honor and dream for me to be in this universe. Um, it still feels, even though, of course, I'm very sad about the show being Jesus canceled. Um, and I'm sad about. Is that like a Star Wars thing, Goose? Yeah, I've never, I, I don't know what that I've never means. heard that term before. <laughs> it's I like, don't think anything lives on the moon. The, the second moon of Endor? Is that a Jedi it's... reference? I'm sorry, I'm not that well-versed in Jedi stuff. <laughs> not being able to give people who are invested into it more, because people just feel a lot of levity and joy around the fact that it, that I got to experience it. Um, and that... I want to just like walk behind her with a pair of scissors and just cut all that bullshit off. Yeah, stop playing with your hair, stupid. Knock it off. This is oh, like start with the top knot, just and then just get all the bullshit around the side. People love that. Yeah, you be doing a favor. You're not dirty. That shit is. So responsive. I yeah, you can't wash that shit. Poured <laughs> through a lot of different iterations of fan art and ship <laughs> art and fan theories and things that were just so beautiful and. I want to get to some kind of point. I, I don't, some it's, kind. You know, it's a good thing that she's a lesbian because I don't think any man would ever get this far into a conversation with be like, I, I want to die. I want to fucking, I want to kill myself. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I don't care. I don't care about anything that you have after. I'm I'm, I'm going to go walk into traffic because there's no yeah. reason to live after having listened to you talk <laughs> for five fucking minutes. Only another insufferable woman could listen to this and go, oh my God, you're so smart. Oh, you're so special. You're so right. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, your opinion matters. Oh, oh, please put your clam in my face. There's nobody like you. You're so special and different from all the other girls. I know we're misogynist, but it's too much fun not to be. Filled my heart with And being right now still, so. And I just want to let those people know out there who supported us in that way um, and supported in us what vocally. What way? Support, support, you don't. Despite ah. and in the face of all of the... You know what? I'll stop being misogynist when it stops being accurate, okay? How about that? We'll make a deal? Yeah, when my eyes don't work. My <laughs> eyes and ears don't work. Then that's when I'll stop being <laughs> that fucking word. <laughs> I swear, misogyny is just another word for being able to see and hear correctly. <laughs> being aware of things. Yes. <laughs> looking around and going, oh, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, I have functioning ears and uh, fucking eyes. Sorry. The vitriol that we received and the kind of the targeted attack, I would say, we received. Oh, it's not like you made a video and a, a shit song provoking those fucking How people. How did I get targeted like this? Why did they all come after me? Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. I fucking hate you, you stupid fucking bitches. <laughs> it's like, why are you attacking me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why are we canceled? I made that song. Right, gotta, gotta take whoever, this wrench is gone. How says, guys, listen, she's very smart. One of a kind. Y'all just can't comprehend it. You are banished. What's girls doing in this chat anyway? Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, just that you were deeply loved and appreciated. Oh my god. 
how how do you how do you women like like how do you live with these thoughts in your head like i would be like annoyed with my own like internal monologue if if this is this is what i was you know what i mean i'm, I'm glad i had older brothers and cousins that kicked the shit out of me if i said anything close to this I'd be punching myself in the head going, shut up, <laughs> shut up, shut up, you fucking bitch, shut the fuck up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Imagine being, like, schizophrenic where you, like, you know, you, like, hallucinate people. Sounds kind and of fun, you, actually. Like, this is the type of person you hallucinate? <laughs> she <laughs> follows you around? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. I'm just like, I'm just, wow, that guy lasted a whole three days. <laughs> That's when so you go you outside can, and never come back. A power drill right to his fucking temples. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is a better idea than listening to you. <laughs> no, Hal, thank God you're nothing like this. Yeah. It made this job all the worthwhile. This is the problem with being given them. everything you wanted since you were nine years old and always told you were right and nobody questioned you because you were the meal ticket. You could have just said a woman, it would have saved you time. Yeah, but not all every woman is successful. This one can back it up with money, and that's the problem. Hal says she's a different type of evil. <laughs> yes, but my favorite kind. The, the ah, so I'm flirt somewhere else. This is the show. For me. Hey, Hal, send me uh, sexy messages via chat to make Ken uncomfortable. <laughs> I will. I will ban her. I have the ban. I know you can go veto on us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know if you heard. I don't know if you heard about this. This is a little little don't diversion. You, well, don't fucking ever compare me to veto ever again. No. You son Hold of on. Right. The other night. On biggest problem in the universe, or last week on biggest problem in the universe, um, people kept making um, pig references in their super chats. So Vito started deleting the super chats and blocking the people. <laughs> and started blocking people in chat for pig references. Yeah, because it just kept going. It's the same references over and over and over again. But this week, he just doubled down <laughs> and started going in the Discord and started banning him. And he's trying to ban Riley in the fucking Discord, and now everybody's like turning on Vito. Uh, and, and Dick Nash is like, I don't know, should we recast? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hey, just so everybody knows, I was the first one to offer my services as a re recasting for Vito. Just so everybody, I was the first. I won't be picked, but I just did it to get my name out there. So they didn't have to come to me and say, we can't have you because we picked somebody who's obviously got a bigger audience and well, more well-liked. I'm like, oh, that's... Okay. I was offered nothing, and I don't want to be offered nothing. Every, I don't want to be part of any anybody's anything. I'm uh, barely I, part of this, and it's too much. It would be hilarious to just start, like, auditioning new co-hosts just to fuck with Vito. Yeah. I, I can, I, that's funny. Now, yeah, I think um, uh, Dick would do that. <laughs> it's in the name. Where's Riley been? Is he not allowed to stream or something? I don't know where he's been lately. Because of his court shit? I don't know. Maybe he's just laying low. That's plus my love of sci-fi and fantasy and being able to be a part of the legacy of something that I so um, deeply... Oh, you're part um, of the legacy that completely destroyed a bunch of shit in lore. Yeah, you so really you really love it. It's just a trick so, legacy. So, Which I don't fucking care about. It's just like, you're so just, full of shit. I can't stand that. I don't really care. I don't think Star Wars lore is, you know, fucking sacred or anything, but if you're actively actively trying to destroy it, you're not like, oh, I'm just so proud to be here. I say, like, whatever was in the, in the good movies, that's sacred. Right? Or when I say sacred, I mean, that's something you shouldn't change. So anything yes. from the originals, you cannot change. Period. But that's the problem. They're trying to redo everything. They they want to remake yeah. the originals to modern day whatever. Oh, they can go fuck themselves. You can never remake something. You only have they one chance. They do it all the time. They do it nope. all the time. They make a new version. They're not remaking it. It's not the same movie. Uh, well, the thing, the thing was a remake, and it, it was tits. It was tits, but it was also better than the original, and it was nothing like the original. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting. It was uh, a remake in name only. What I'm saying is you can't remake a movie. You can only make the movie once. You can try to recreate it. It's not, it's not really remaking it, you know what I mean? Not in a true well, sense. You well, only, well, I'm that, saying you only have one chance. That's true, but in the way that they want to do it, they want to redo everything. They don't want to remake a movie. They want to. I get that. Take I get all that. the names and all the stories and turn it into whatever they want to turn this universe or whatever the hell they're building it. I totally get that. But like an author once said about his book, it's like they could make my book into whatever horseshit movie they want to, and ain't gonna do a goddamn thing in my book because my book's still sitting over in the bookshelf. And the same thing with any of the movies. They they can try to, they can try to remake the original Star Wars trilogy, ain't gonna make a goddamn bit of difference. It's never gonna be Star Wars. No, but they own Star Wars, so they can do whatever the hell they want with it. 
See, I, I think at a certain point, especially things that kind of permeate the like collective psyche, pop culture, like sure, you can own distribution rights and like copyright rights on things, but you can never actually own the property. So once, a, once the audience finds it, it's theirs then. And you can never take it away from them. Yeah, yeah, but you can grind it into the ground where people hate the new product so much they like even go back and like don't even want to deal with the old product. Like, they can damage the brand I, and the name so badly I, that I it's hear a you there, fuck Star Wars. But I think that's temporary. I think after someone like a company like Disney just grinds in the ground and it dies, the people who love the original and even new generations will go back and find the originals, love those, and just ignore the rest. Yeah, it needs to be. Honestly, it needs to be grinded down to nothing and then rebuilt. Let it let it sit for ten years and not do anything or just with that IP. Go away from where the main story is happening. Just get it far away from. You can go ruin another time period. I don't give a fuck about. Well, that's what the acolyte was supposed to be. I thought but they still mm, managed. The not really. Up. It was still it's still too close to the prequels. Go after the Skywalkers. What happens after them? Well, that even that that whole thing sucked. Like that whole that well, that's because there was too many directors. The story got blah blah blah. It was they should have planned that out way better than they did. They look like they just well, remade was... the first one, and then everything went to shit. Plan it out, can now. You expect a billion dollar corporation to like have an idea of what they're gonna spend all their money on? <laughs> Stupid. How do you not do that with a, with a like a pre laid plan? Like I don't understand that at all. Because that's foolhardy. I don't think you know what foolhardy means, buddy. It's definitely, definitely. No, absolutely. It's, it's almost it's like an point? irrational mindset took over. <laughs> what kind of person would ever be that irrational? I don't know. I just I don't want know. to say thank you to Lucasfilm um, for just being a fucking awesome team. They were so wonderful to work with, and Stop playing with your hair. Uh, yeah. uh, just everybody that I worked with in Lucasfilm. But particularly Rain Roberts, my producer, was just uh, had such like vision and hope and and uh, and like such a mission for what we were going to continue bringing into the sci-fi universe and into the Star Wars. Yeah, it's all gone. It's all and gone. It was a really well. Star Wars isn't sci-fi. Star Wars is actually sci-fi fantasy. Stop! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's making that argument right now. I just, uh, uh. <laughs> nerds. I'm tired of nerds. Beautiful, energizing, life changing experience to be a part of. And, and I have to thank Leslie Hedlund, who just. I just fucking love that bitch. She just. <laughs> That's concerning. Yes, nobody loves that bitch. Not even her stupid wife. Especially not like Gwyneth Paltrow or. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you know, probably. Uh, you know, can't think of other. Why? Why are <laughs> so many people? Yeah, yeah. This came I, from... don't, I don't think you know who you're praising uh, there, uh, little you know, lady. She, I thought she did a really great job at ushering all those women into the old creepy guy's office so he could jerk off into plants at him. I thought she did. Really yeah, good. She, <laughs> she was like those people that fed those people the Sorlac pitch. She just did a great job and it you know, never I think the Oscars. She's, she started a new category just for women that lure other the actresses into offices to be jerked off at by uh, you know creepy toad face executives. Why are there so many people that brought people coffee running fucking Disney and Star Wars right now? Because they know where the bodies are buried, Ken. Sure, I guess. That's a lot of blackmail, I guess. 30 years of blackmail gets it's you It's Hollywood. Job. That's like most of the mail they get. <laughs> it's blackmail. Excuse my friend. She's just one of the best people in the world. She's dumb enough to think I that's think French. She's so dumb bitch. talented and unique and kind. Um, and, and hands-on. I, I love her. Forever, uh, and and I will, I love this experience with her forever. Uh, but at the end, of if lesbians get in like a like a three way, is it like a triangle? You know, like a triangle? I don't, I don't know. That's, I think that symbol means something else. It should make a box. Well, Dude, I mean, you got one to one, and one to the other, and that one back to the first one. It'd be like a triangle, unless there's four. I think it's more of like an Eiffel Tower situation. I guess it is a triangle. I don't know. Shit. I don't know. Any lesbians Take out there, hands. let us know what, uh, yeah. yeah, hands hands across the nation. End of the day, I also just want to thank everybody who watched it. Thank you for being so loving and. 
<laughs> most of us weren't very low. <laughs> yeah, most of the people that watched it hated it. They hate watched it. <laughs> That's why it was canceled, stupid. I still can't believe they let that show through. <laughs> Dude, like it feels like with the Star Wars shows in particular, every single one gets progressively worse. Like I'm looking back at Kenobi now and going, I mean, it sucked, but it wasn't that bad. 